Welcome to IOG's Haskell course. My name is Robertino Martinez. I'm part of Input Output's education team, and I'm very excited to be your teacher for this course. So who's this course for? Even though you can use it to learn Haskell just for the sake of it, the main objective is to teach Haskell to people interested in learn Marlowe and Plutus afterwards. And for that reason, in the outline, there will be clear stopping points where we let you know that you already know everything needed to learn a certain technology. So what about the format of the course? This will be a self-paced course. There will be no cohorts. You can start whenever you want and you can complete the lessons at your own pace. Also, we'll implement a rolling release type of delivery. We start by releasing one or two lessons each week. And once all the projected lessons are published, we continuously deliver improvements and updates. All the, all the lessons will be available in both interactive and video format. The interactive format will be a Jupyter notebook with a Haskell kernel where you can learn while reading the lesson and practice while executing the code and change it and execute it again, all at the same time. You can choose to either just watch the video lectures or go through the text-based interactive lessons or both. Plus, every lesson we have homework that we really encourage you to complete. All the resources will be remote. This means that you, you can go through the entire course without downloading or installing anything on your computer. You just need a web browser. Of course, everything is public and open source. And we're really looking forward to hearing from the community and to improve the course and to make it as useful as possible. And finally, several members of the team and myself will be ready to answer any questions you might have. Obviously, we won't be able to answer every question, but that's the thing about that's the nice thing about having such a vibrant community. There are hundreds of developers helping each other at, at our technical Discord, and we're hoping you could become one too. Now, don't worry if it feels a little overwhelming. We'll go over how to actually use all those resources in the first lesson. We aim to make it as easy and as fun as possible, and we hope you enjoy.